Happy Tuesday, everybody. It is April 5th, 2022. Who the fuck let it be April? That's not what they were asking. April 5th, 2022. I'm Bryce Castillo, your pre... Lens cap in my pocket. Uh, your pre-show green room, great room and navigator. Here to escort you into the green room. In fact, I believe uh, we will be... We'll be sending it over there. In, uh, in just a second, coming up later today, we got a very respectful edition of Real or Fake. We have got uh, some good stories. Ali Spagnola is in the house and hanging out today. She is in early for uh, for Founders Day this weekend. We'll talk more about Founders Day. We'll talk about the dog in the show show. All sorts of good stuff. In the meantime, we are going to, I believe, send it on over to the green room. Green room, can you hear me? Uh, hello, hello, Green Room reporting here. Uh, we seem to have an air conditioner running. Are you able to hear it, and does it disturb the audio? Over. Yes, we can hear it, and it's pretty, pretty significant. All right. Pretty loud. Okay, we are sad. Ground control. <laughs> you <just> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> uh, holy shit, man! Welcome to uh, Founders Week. Yeah. Oh my God. Welcome right? to Founders yeah. Week. I guess technically Monday was was the beginning of Founders oh, Week, oh, but man, but today no. yeah, I think yeah, yeah, yeah. ceremonially already with it. the mission creep. All of a sudden it's Founders Month and it's Founders Year. It just people are living here exactly. all the time. Exactly, I know. Yeah, I'm like, like, like I'm sick of all the Founders Day shit showing up in Publix before uh, <laughs> Valentine's right. Day. Everybody knows that Founders Day season begins at the on January first. After right. now they're starting the year before. Wow, yeah. I know. Well, I'm like, tired of it. I feel like we should have like a cord or something that you cut to open the ceremonies. Should you? No. Oh. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe as a as a, as an homage to the past, you should raid a frame. <laughs> well, uh, uh, specifically because we intentionally had a very, um, I don't know. Uh, Cardboard chic aesthetic uh, opening ceremonies in 2018? Yeah. 2019. 2019 is when it was. Yes. April 9th, 2019. It was very important to me that, that, that we have opening ceremonies, which consisted of us burning sticks in the fire pit uh, or in the sacrifice pit and drinking wine and talking. So that... Five years from then you would be say it's that, the five year anniversary, yeah. right? Yeah. So, so uh, it's uh, been exactly. Yeah, it's it's been. been five years <laughs> since we started this. Oh no! <laughs> and then the moon swallowed up the sun. Now you know that's their most hated. They hate that song more than any of their other ones. Uh, you know yeah. what? You can love someone despite their own self loathing. That's true. You can appreciate. The beauty that they themselves so, don't even the, see. The way I, I always know. love to do that song is yet spin, and that's it. We we just leave it there. I mean, we do that a lot. <laughs> no, that you know that 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 is a bit. That's a recurring bit on yeah. this show. Is that we just is that we, we just, play just the whenever, beginning of it. it? Whenever you need the reference, you just go yet spin, yep. <laughs> and that's and you just leave it there. Just I mean, because right the rest even right after all this time, it's, uh, eight months now, I've been with the show. It's we've been not, a bit. Yeah, we've yeah. not I mean, needed it. Yeah, I mean, understand. The it's show been. Is we just didn't need it. It has always existed. Mm -hmm. Yes. It only recently, twelve years ago, became in human form. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, thirteen years. Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. Jesus. Two thousand nine. Yes. There we go. Jesus. Wow. Okay. Uh, so this is but a blip <laughs> of its latest incarnation. Wait, we started doing this show two thousand nine. So wait, Josie was Un one was, or unborn? She was born two thousand seven, and we started. Uh, 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 the initial broadcast. No, because because the the our, the moment where we became actual friends and not just people that knew each other in the internet oh, was yeah. two thousand eight uh, at and HHN. we were laughing so loud that we annoyed Bonnie and Bonnie came okay. out with a child this is, this is in her what, arms. Yeah. So yes. which is, child was in this your This is arms. the thing. I came yes. out. I was just like, oh, well, I'm really glad Brian's having a good time. But after my boobs were completely dry because she kept waking up and saying, I want more milk. I want more milk. And there was nothing left in the end. I was like, these guys got to shut up. These guys I just, shut yeah, the fuck you know. Up. Man, yeah. 
I mean, you want to talk about Turns a, out we've never I shut about, up. I, I was about to say, you <laughs> want to talk about a prescient <laughs> moment. <laughs> like, like, buckle in, lady. This is your <laughs> next 13 years. This is it. Oh, no. Soon, I, soon I we'll knew. own land, and then we'll be powerful <laughs> beyond y'all reckoning. I got to say, I knew because, like, there's a special laugh that Brian reserves <laughs> for people it. that are, are like, Really wheedle- tickling, tickling the funny bone. Yeah, they really get yeah. in there. How did, you, how did you do that? It was like this? Uh, really tickling, 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 yeah. Tickling really that's, tickling that's the, the funny, funny bone, bone, right? Yeah. Right. yeah. So, well, you got to grab the funny <laughs> bone. And, just, and then you have prime to... Prime the yeah. bone. And then, <laughs> so, uh, I, I, I forget when this was, but uh, we sat down once, oh and I God. started talking, and out of the corner of my eye, I saw somebody, like, full body lock... And then look over and then look away. And uh, I didn't think much about it until like 15, 20 minutes later, they walked over and they were like, excuse me, are you Brian Brushwood? Oh, my God. All right, this, this is a backspin five no. seconds ago. <laughs> yeah. You just did this? Just, yeah. just, happened. just yeah. happened. And by the way, can I just say, this has been my fucking day is the, the fucking constant reminder that my friends are more famous yep. than me. I'm fucking sitting in the backspin. We're trying to do our thing, which is not what we say we're doing. When we say we go on a beer run, what we really mean is that we're running somewhere to drink a beer and then run back. Uh, uh, and so we're sitting there at backspin, and all of a sudden, this guy's like... <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You, oh, hey, are by you the way, Brian reminder, Brushwood? I gave him the URL, so he's watching this right now. No, he's in the watching future. Batman. Well, he's gonna watch Batman. He's in watching the, Batman. In the future, though, he's going to watch In the future. It. Uh, yes. Sir, Welcome you're a great to the person. Future. I'm, uh, this is yes. about me, not you. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> pipe down, heck. Pipe down. Whatever. <laughs> He's like, uh, man, you've changed my life. Uh, I, I was I was a poor downtrodden person before yes. I realized that you could be schooled in scams, and now now yes. I'm uh, now I'm a seven figure CEO. Seven uh, seven is not the right yeah. number of fingers uh, <laughs> by a lot. And so he goes, and Brian's like, yes, founders, we has truly begun. And he <laughs> threw him a ducket and fucking uh, you know got carried off on his litter back yep. to my car. Yep. Uh, then earlier today. Oh no! Wait, that wasn't today. This no, is no, today. today. Both well, these things are that today. That happened thirty minutes. That ago. That happened thirty minutes ago. Also today. Also today. <laughs> I'm trying to work. I'm just a simple cobbler of podcasts. <laughs> like I just a tool and die on these simple hands sticky with and, podcast yeah, glue. Yes. Yes. I'm just yeah. you so like, like wiping the sweat off my brow as like <laughs> a, a goat meanders beyond behind me. And and my ring camera my ring right. camera goes off. Oh no! <laughs> and I see like a, a Google Fiber kid. Oh! And it's hot as shit outside. Now, now just, when you say Google Fiber kid, like an, I'm picturing somebody who. Um, yeah. Hey, Mister! Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Mister! Fiber, have, fiber for sale. Have, have you, have you, have you, you heard fibers? the good word about the Google Fibes? <laughs> I mean, it's effectively that. Yeah. It's either yeah. that or like, hey, Mister, you heard the good word about solar panels? <laughs> yeah, no, they're tax like, rebates. Uh, uh, A lot of people don't know this, but you were born with the original sin of slow internet. <laughs> but you can find redemption through the two gig ability of Google Fiber. Our e-communion package will make sure you continue to have speed every week. So normally, if the weather was nice and it's hot here today, it's hot today. Uh, I yeah. would just let them sit out there and then they'd walk away eventually. Oh, you would let them? <laughs> oh, this was like a salesman. This yeah, was a salesman. door-to-door salesman. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought... He's like, hey, mister. Hey, mister. Because they have people who go in install stuff and I see those trucks all the time but no, not no, the door to door no cause he's got a little uh, a, little a, a tablet uh. that like does the like so I know he's a, a solicitor but I feel bad cause he's you don't want Google Fiber? Google I'm, I'm Fiber's watching. good no cause the, the thing I have is also it's the same thing as Google Fiber at least in terms of the up and down hmm. long story short oh wow hold on wow, wow. Oh. that's that's an acolyte mm. right there like mm. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Mm. Okay. okay. He's like, I mean, Justin. Like, uh, it, it, it's, hey, it's, Justin. <laughs> it's the difference between like a gig and a half and two gigs symmetrical. So like, it mm. is a lot if you had nothing. But it, it's Listen, fine look, for what we're we, doing. We're all here because we don't want you to go to the wrong heaven. My point <laughs> is, my point is yes, that I, the as a man of, of la- mercy, Latter Day Servers, as Latter-day a man Servers. of mercy, Latter-day. goes down to the front door to just shoo him away so he can not, he can get through whatever his rounds are and get out of the heat. 
Right. And so I go down and, and he's like, Go away, right. salesman. And he's like, Hello, uh, uh, I'm Google Fiber Man. And I'm like, I have internet, man. Thank you so much. And I'm like about to close the door. And he says to me, He sticks his foot in there. Yeah. Do you know who your neighbor is? <laughs> Oh my god. For those people who don't know, I. Oh, my god. oh no! Oh, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Really right? Oh, no. <laughs> right there. He goes, I'm pretty sure he's stealing your bandwidth. <laughs> so, for those who no, don't know, Darren like... Kitchen lives next door oh, to me. My God. And he had apparently oh, my just God. been at Darren's place. And he comes, and all the shit he couldn't say to Darren because he's too starstruck, <laughs> he's saying to me, oh, like, God. who, by the way, at the moment that he's saying it, he doesn't know that I know him. He's literally just word vomiting the fact that he met Elvis and he wants to let the the, the like blank face store clerk at the Woolworth yeah. know that he just ran into Elvis and talk wow, about blue Woolworth. suede shoes. Well done, Woolworth. sir. Uh, and so uh, now, now, now here here is the one part of the story that I'm truly disappointed in is that Justin did not seize the opportunity to gaslight this kid and immediately say. <laughs> No, I don't know, but he's weird. He comes at all these hours, and he talks about, like, he makes these weird threats. Like, I, I'm talking about how I'm going to download something, and he just says, we'll see about that. And <laughs> what does that mean? And he must yeah. love Hawaii. He talks about pineapples all the time, but he's white <laughs> as a sheet. So weird. No, 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 no. no. I, this is what I would have done. I said, you're joking and he grabbed the kid by the shirt and he walk over and <laughs> knock on the door <laughs> and he just go like this kid says he run in your living here and then just <laughs> totally change voices and go what are we gonna do with him <laughs> <laughs> get a rope <laughs> <laughs> Get a cat five internet cable. <laughs> I didn't want to say he was black, but that's fucked up. Oh, oh, you're fucked up. Oh, God damn it. Oh, I didn't oh, know. You're fucked I up. Know. You. There needs oh, more shit. representation needs to be an info sec. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> as my favorite comedian once said, I thought the bitch was white. So. <laughs> <laughs> Very sorry. I gotta admit, like you really sold the hey mister. Hey, so mister. I really did think it was. Just some some pimply white kid. Uh, <laughs> why couldn't? Yeah. No, but he was very very excited to meet Darren, and That's then cool. I was like, I was like, no no no, yeah, he's my friend, and he's like, oh, and then at that point, and this is fucking so humiliating. He's, <laughs> oh, he's looking now at me. Now we're humiliating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. You know, he's looking at me <laughs> and imagine, thinking. By the way, can I get through with the <laughs> dead man front of me? No, I'm, I'm we're gonna make it, it really long. No, I'm admitting it. Not a like go, go ahead. harm thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's looking at me and he's thinking, oh shit, this guy's friends with Darren Kitchen. He must also be a famous infosec person. Different voice now. Yeah. Really weird how that happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Three. Seven, <two>. Four. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Wait. Oh, no, that's his inner monologue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, so his inner monologue, inner monologue doesn't have to have an accent. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Also, he right. didn't have an accent. Okay. You're racist. Oh, God damn Two racists. Oh, 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 <laughs> but there's always room for one more. <laughs> he turned into the crypt keeper. <laughs> On a mansion, but that's... Oh. <laughs> all right, so, so he thinks... So, so he then now he thinks that I'm an famous. infosec guy. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I'm like... I'm like, no, no, no. I just know him. Mm -hmm. We moved uh, from California. You blah, know, blah, tech, blah. Do, you, do you know Tom Merritt? Uh, no, no. This is exactly what Brian said, too. He kept wanting to find the connection point where he might know me, but um, I was unwilling to oh. fall down those stairs hoping one would cave in and be a treasure. Oh, like, uh, I mean, okay, now I understand that impulse, but understand that you bypass the the unlikely but non-zero possibility that this dude could have met Darren Kitchen, gone next door, said, do you realize who your neighbor is? And then just, and, and had that moment and then say, you ever hear of a little podcast called World's Greatest Con? And then have him hit me with the Guardians of the Galaxy 
Who? Yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah. I, I would, World's greatest con, man. World's famous podcast. Da- Daily Tech News Show. No, Daily nothing. News show. Get the fuck out of my... You're trespassing. Justin, you've just described in a nutshell my last 20 years in anime where... Knocking on doors. Because you, 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 know you, you live next to Nolan North, North of course. Where people are like... So where do I know you from? And then you have to put out your resume and say, yeah. I, you know, I don't think you've. No, 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 no. Tell me, okay. No. All right. So I was. No. Have you heard of this? No. No. Yeah, no. no. Or what was worse when I met my wife is when she goes, "You're a voice actor." Yeah. Well, uh, what have I, you know, done? I'm like, well, I, I I was in this show. She goes, oh, well, I don't really watch dubs. Oh. So that was my one. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, then why did you fucking ask me? And then she said, because I want to marry you, silly. Were you like, she's hot, but she doesn't watch dubs? No, no, no. It really was me walking up, and uh, And there's a whole story to this. It's very sweet. I'll try to give the thing. I. I saw her across the room and at a convention in Dallas, and it was my first convention ever. And I was like, I'm going to go talk to that girl. She's hot. Uh, yeah. you, you met your wife at your first convention ever. Acon 10. Wow. Ruining yeah. all conventions oh, after that. So did that. I. Oh. High five. <laughs> So Dragon Con. So I know technically I'd been to Star Wars. The the the, the oh, Star Wars Con. Yeah, but she, no, that was the first one where I was a guest, though. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah. she, the, I was the guest, and she was working her. She was selling her wares, mm-hmm. and uh, so I, with my radio buddy, I was like, I'm going to go talk to that girl. So I thought, oh, I'm like, yes. So I've got to have some. In, I'm just going to go flirt with her. Mm-hmm. But I ended up getting stuck behind somebody uh, while they were, she was selling her art. And I ended up just looking at her art while we were waiting. And so I really got I couldn't. I didn't get a chance to flirt. So I'm looking at her art, mm. and I then we just start talking about art. No, that's flirting. I'm an artist. But but it was but but it was talking about the art and the thing, and it, and I, I recognized that she was the artist, Aww. not the guy sitting next to her. And uh, then when she was like, "You're a guest," and I was like, oh, "Okay, here's my end." Yeah. yeah. And uh, and and I said, she goes, "Yeah," and I said, "Yeah," and she goes, "What are you?" I go, "I'm a voice actor," and that's when she's like, "Oh, I only watch dubs or I only <laughs> I watch subs." subs wow. Yeah. And I was just kind of like. I mean, you know the right answer is like, oh, thank goodness. Yeah. Uh, you know, no, then that's... No, I'm not... I'm giving that, you, like, dating advice not, for yeah, the yeah, wife you. that you married <laughs> yeah. 10, 12 years ago. Six, 16 years later. Right, right. Yeah. Thank you. You got to preserve that you know, mystique. I gotta, you know what? Yeah. Next time I'm going to try that. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, this kid is bu- uh, in front oh, of my door. Yeah. And he, now he starts pouring his heart out to me, and he's like, uh. like, oh, my God, it was so crazy. Like, I really want to get into InfoSec, and I'm getting all these certs. And like, like I'll never be at the level that like Darren Kitchen is at, and blah 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 blah. And so now I'm having an actual conversation with this kid, and I'm like, "You got to go to DefCon. Like DefCon's a very small convention. You're gonna you meet everybody." I did, I did. <laughs> uh, and I'm like, "You got to go to DefCon. If you go to DefCon, uh, uh, a you're gonna run into everybody that you're ever gonna need to know." Blah 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 blah. And he's like. Like, uh, yeah, you know, and I know what's going to happen because he's of a certain age and he's going to explain how he oh, lives with yeah. his mom and he yeah, fucking like shit. eats Basement. blah, blah, blah. Sure. Right. Yeah. Uh, and what I'm does like, he eat? I have no idea. I, yeah. I stopped him <laughs> and I'm like, no excuses. Get to DEF CON. Get to DEF CON. You'll have a career in InfoSec. And he's like, cool, man. Thanks. And he starts to walk away and I close and I'm like closing the door. And the last thing I hear is, hey, what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, oh fuck everybody. Oh, fuck you, so Google Fiber Kid. So good. Fuck you, Batspin yeah. Patron. Yeah. Fuck Darren ah. Kitchen. Fuck yeah. Brian Brushwood. <laughs> Fucking somebody recognize me on Saturday or I'll kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Not really, but spiritually, maybe. Oh. Um, uh, <laughs> so uh, uh, there, there, is, there is a brief story that uh, I forgot to pitch for the A block, so I'll give it here. Um, uh, we go out uh, on a, a Friday night to uh, uh, to Whiskey Tribe, you know, and mm-hmm. so on. Uh, Bonnie's wearing these 
awesome. Oh, you mean the the Fang and Feather, where there Crowded will be Barrel Distillery an, an unofficial uh, uh, meetup between this five Friday. and eight this Friday. Uh, you know what? I believe it's the exact same place. Ah. I believe I've given them fair warning to expect anywhere from oh. fifty to one hundred and fifty more patrons than usual. A lot of peeps. <laughs> Wow. Showing up. It's you know true. what? I think I'll come out. All right. Hey. Sure. Here we sure. go. I'll actually oh go. God. I never like to go. But I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> yeah, I'm there. It's going to be great. It's gonna be I think it's going to be a good time. Oh, uh, but yeah. uh, but Bonnie is wearing these awesome rocking like gold boots with like uh, three and a half inch heels and stuff. We have, a, we have a delightful time. We come on home. <laughs> hey, kids, what's up? High five. You're all being well behaved. That's awesome. Cool. And uh, uh, Bonnie takes <laughs> the dog. Out, I uh, like to imagine that's how you exactly want. Yeah. Hey, 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 what up, what up, what up? Oh my god, look at you. Well behaved. What's happening right there? Well behaved. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Good for you. Where are you talking from? Where are you talking from? all like, <laughs> who came from the farthest? You know what? Who's your daddy? I'm your daddy. There we go. Let's keep going. <laughs> True. <laughs> so Bonnie's tending to the dog's backyard or whatever. And I'm uh, talking to Josie, and there's this moment that I hear. Penny like laughing hysterically upstairs and then I think no maybe she's crying mm. and then I realize that no it's definitely my wife screaming my name and crying in the backyard <gasps> and, uh, and, and, and we bolt out the door and I go running down these stairs and I see Bonnie completely splayed out <laughs> uh, holding her leg and she says, uh, "I think I bolt. I think I broke my ankle." Aww. Yeah. And and immediately it's like battle stations. I was like, "Josie, go get this, get this, then the other thing. We're gonna do whatever. Mm. We're gonna take a moment. We're gonna get ice on it. We're gonna blah blah blah." And um, uh, uh, there's this moment, you know, uh, we get we give it just a little bit of time, and 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 so Bonnie just barely tries to move her ankle, and it becomes clear, like, okay, not broken, but right. but. As I experienced 10 years ago, you remember that story where uh, uh, I was running outside of uh, by the Trudies and I stepped I stepped in a rabbit hole, you know, snapped. I felt a twing. I ended up going to the ER like a softball sized swelling on nice. the side. Oh, wow. Um, but the part I remember most is spending 15 minutes literally laying in a ditch, uh, calling Bonnie like I need to go to the hospital mm. and and watching her car go right past me oh, no. <laughs> and so um uh, uh, i'm uh, like this <laughs> Whoa, where are you? Uh, so i hear snap. someone crying like penny <laughs> <laughs> like a little bitch <laughs> Ladies and she's gentlemen, she's canceled. It's she not just racist, called but her she daughter. Is canceled. A little she bit. Is gone. Uh, <laughs> no, I called my allowed. husband a little bit. You're allowed. You're allowed. <laughs> Technically, both of them, but it's fine. We're moving on. We're moving on. Moving this, on. this feeds the punchline. There we go. I don't know. <laughs> so, what did you? What was your first words to me after directing Josie? You uh, lean down into my ear and you say. <laughs> Oh, I bet, I bet it was something nice. Like, hey, you know what? We're all here you for you. We're going to support you. Look, That's we right. know how to handle this. It's, you're going to be A-okay. And you know what? There's a hospital right down the street. And you know, I love Brett, you so Brett, much. Brett, what do you think I said? What I think, do you think very close to that, and I love you so much. Yeah. yeah. Or, I'm not an I love you person. So. <laughs> or. <laughs> uh, right. Well, <laughs> I mean, it, like it, was, it was kind, but I was like, I was like okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> and it got quiet for about 10 seconds, and I said, I just picture this for 15 more minutes. And you see me drive by the in a car so oh, you're laying in a ditch. Oh, so oh, unbelievably oh, petty. Oh, <laughs> we're all friends, right? I can say that's cool. I can say I this, mean that's right? fine, right? I mean that's, that's fine. fine to say, right? That's fine, right? It's fine. Like a bitch, man. I mean, that's fine. Yeah. yeah, no, you know what? I'm Actually, like, no, I'm co signing you, you on this one. <laughs> Guys, I know I know I don't want to get political, but the Supreme Court ruled it's fine. It's fine. I know it's a six three court, but it's okay. fine. Yeah. How long ago was your incident? Uh, ten years. Ten fucking yeah. years. Ten years. I mean I mean if And immediately in, in I the barely middle of Def Con he <laughs> held on to that shit. I know. Oh, yeah. He did. Yeah. He knew. Yeah. Yeah. And I believe it. And you know what? I believe it. I mean, that's so out of that. context for Brian to catalog like, like <laughs> uh, faults uh, both perceived and real. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but here's the 
real thing. So oh, then, shit. Oh, no. So then he's already, <laughs> <laughs> so he's already like just come in and then gave me that little zinger. And I did laugh because I was just like, by okay. then, by then I had realized, oh no, I just, because I heard a pop. So yeah. I know something's fucked up, yeah. but, <laughs> but it's not. But it turns out it's our marriage. <laughs> <laughs> It was it was it was the literal bonds of matrimony. It was they're broken. It was two yeah. wedding yeah. bands yeah. in different yeah. parts of the world snapping at the exact same time. Yeah, the marriage the the, the, the marriage doctor is like, I'm I'm sorry, you've had a full separation of your bonds of marriage. We're not gonna be able to save this without. No, we're, we're gonna we're, we're gonna recommend you put in a plastic plate. Oh. <laughs> you're gonna put this marriage on ice. <laughs> and you bit. better put the plastic plate in the dishwasher. I yeah. swear to God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh shit! Have we, have we lost internet or something? Uh, uh, no. Oh okay. Wait, no. Uh, okay. People Fine. just didn't find any of so, that funny. So I hear this. <laughs> <laughs> they're just they're just frozen. Hey, no one's <laughs> laughing at me. Is the internet down? <laughs> hey, is this thing on? Man, the internet must be down Mr. a lot. Telephone, man. <laughs> there's just, there's just, they're frozen because there's just too many opportunities. Yeah, they're like, not enough time. Everybody's like, not enough time, not enough time. Because for, because for about five minutes, this became a dark, dark comedy <laughs> <laughs> that you need to process. Oh, so uh, 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 so five minutes. That was the equivalent. Thank you, five. Of the, that five was minutes. the equivalent of the chat room pulling okay. your Chris Rock and just going, man, I could. Yeah. <laughs> so. So Brian oh. goes inside and leaves the joy, the 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 joy, the <laughs> joy, the eight, the eighty pound Weimaraner to lick my face and stomp on me, and then he goes, he goes and gets, but he's just, <laughs> you're just laying in the grass, just laying there, and joy, <laughs> the joy, which is just going, on. <laughs> with, 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 you can't stop her, or nothing. Yeah, I would describe joy as a mirth bulldozer. Yes, <laughs> like yeah. She's only ever bringing good times, but she is unrepentant yeah, about it. Like, absolutely. the good times you will be it. had. <laughs> They're <laughs> gonna roll. Just bug eyes and tongue. <laughs> like, <Yeah. he's> <laughs> <laughs> Joy, Joy is like Duff Man. <laughs> it's Duff like Man. you see him coming, yes. but there's no stopping it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. The party's about to happen. <laughs> so, uh, oops, that was me. Sorry. Is that Google Fiber? <laughs> He's like, so, hey, so hey, ma'am, hey, ma'am, yeah, yeah. hey, lady, yeah. hey, lady. So, so we wind up. Uh, so Brian goes inside, and the dog's stomping on me and licking my face because she's she sees an opportunity when she can. Oh yeah. And then Brian comes out. He goes, "I'm sorry, buddy. All we have is frozen shrimp. So we're gonna put frozen shrimp on your ankle." I go, "Bullshit. There's some broccoli in there. I know Something. Where it is. You take the she shrimp." Went- Freezer, Take that, that is bullshit. That's nasty. eight bucks a pound right there. <laughs> that, is that shit is nasty. Exactly. Not in Lent, you won't. <laughs> 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 oh my God. You take that oh. shit back. Mid laugh, like all of our eyes darted left and right, trying to figure out whether or not Lent was still happening. <laughs> yeah, right. uh, no. oh. So, um, how is the ankle now? Uh, you know, Brian's got this like event coming up, which requires <laughs> me to like, like move my my sprawl of art shit that I have just taken uh, over half of the thing yeah. and I'm going of the soundstage and, and you I just had to move shit Nobody's out of the story, I need right? help I can't do this because I am limping normally it would be no problem but, I would say yeah I, I mean my you got a lot coming. of help for the first half of all of this from what for the first half of all of this moving of the boxes what do you mean you you should be happy with the help You've already been given. Oh, yeah. No, Brian was amazing because he helped me out, load and out. And the fact that you had yeah. to do the other half with a broken ankle <laughs> and I was not there. It's a little is, bit bullshit. A yeah, 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 yeah. little bit bullshit. Yeah. yeah. You know, let's be honest. Although, it, it was really nice, like, uh, like, um, when Brian started out with the magic shit, and then, like, <laughs> I was, I would have to sit because, you know, he's got, like, like he just needed like support, so I would sit on the curb while he like loaded and went through his whole magic show into his little trailer because he couldn't fly. J- because Justin he couldn't speaks rent this his... language. Um, yeah. Uh, would you describe me as particular about how my magic show was packed oh, in the boxes? Jesus. Uh, among like the the ten year old thing that he remembers, I guarantee that there are 
anywhere between 20 and 30 very specific <laughs> moments in which hapless stagehands <laughs> have tried have to help. put things in the wrong place. <laughs> and Brian, to this day, in fact, name a college where this happened uh, right now on the top of your head. Like, 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 like uh, Valdosta you... State University. Okay. Oh, yeah. like, I know for a fact. Yeah. That there are at least 19 <laughs> more of those colleges yeah. for which he remembers exactly where because, yes, indeed, you are very particular about and he's where got, shit goes. He's oh, no. but, by the way, Bryce, Bryce is saying in the chat, like, I bet Brian remembers the hammer I lost. What college? Uh, thankfully, I didn't. Oh! oh! It turns out I write that into the budget. Uh, now, oh, the hammers get written into the Had you lost uh, the nail for nail in the eye, that is a very particular object that I need. Yes. Yeah, so... But but all that all that time sitting on the curb while Brian packed and everything and then like it was so sweet because he he uh, he ditches <laughs> he did, ditched the earlier show yesterday to come help me uh, pack up the the work yesterday because you're yeah, an allegedly good husband he allegedly is. good husband <laughs> I'm gonna get oh man oh, Bonnie's man. got the best business card that'll be off air allegedly good allegedly good, good yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. all right we're gonna we're gonna turn it back to gr ground control ground control. Well, this Hello? is uh, the green room. Hi, green room. Hi, green room. Uh, we're done. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm Adios. Dead. We'll take it from here. Thank you, everybody in the green room. <laughs> All right. All right. You got it. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us once again here in the night. We're here in the night. That's all I'm going to say. We're here at the Great Night Pre-Show. We just got out of the green room. Thank you so much for joining us here. We're going to have a great show for you tonight. Got a lot of friends. Got a lot of folks in uh, in the audience. Got some folks uh, who are joining us. Uh, yeah, all sorts of good stuff. It's going to be a good... It's going to be a great night. Thank you for joining me. Let's... Do, let's jump over to the birthday borner. This is the part of the pre-show where <laughs> where I read all of the shouts outs that you have uh, uh, let us know about in our Discord, in our birthday borner channel. Uh, right at the top of the channel list there. Uh, and our one is Kyle Wells. Kyle Wells, uh, hey, as uh, was today. Happy birthday, Kyle. Everybody say happy birthday, Kyle. Happy birthday. All right, there we go. Uh, so that's your birthday borners. Please, uh, uh, discord.greatnight.tv is how you can join uh, and get your birthday borners in. Well, this would normally be the time where we do some critical racing theory, but uh, Corey's not in here just yet. Uh, there's no F1 race over the <laughs> There's no F1 race over the weekend. Uh, they're getting ready for the Australian Grand Prix uh, this weekend. It will be taking place at midnight Texas time on Saturday. The the end of Saturday, not the beginning end. The begin, the end of midnight of Saturday. Um, I think we had we had we had considered if we would do a a, um, a watch along, but uh, looking at our schedule, we'll talk more about the Father's Day stuff in a bit. But looking at the schedule, there's such a big gap between the end of the the showcase that we're doing and then the start of when that Grand Prix is, and in the middle we have to do all sorts of we got to strike and we got to put stuff up. So that might not be a possible thing for like an official thing um but there you are all I don't, uh, do, uh, don't let me stop you from going to a bar or something i don't know um but uh but i'm sure we'll talk more about it oh by the way speaking of and i know normally uh we haven't done a live event in quite a while but we will be doing this one on saturday normally when we do a live event the next Tuesday, we are we, we run the live show um, in lieu of a nor our, our regular uh, Great Night episode, formerly Attack episode. Uh, we will not be doing that this week. The Founders Day Night Great Night. Uh, uh, oh, I'm doing great. The the Great Night segment uh, from our showcase on Founders Day will come out uh, just probably in a couple of weeks uh, because. There's still probably going to be some people in town by Tuesday, and we figured might as well do another show in case anybody, maybe they're not coming early, but they're staying late and they wanted to sit in. So uh, that will be what we do. So if you're like, ah, oh, all this Founders Day stuff, you are, you are still, you're still, you're still going to get, you'll still get that show uh, as well. Uh, and all sorts of good stuff here. 
Um, I was, ah, man, I, all I want to do is talk about Founders Day because that's all we're, we're just we're problem solving with Founders Day. Right now. <laughs> Um, uh, alrighty. Well, uh, some other- Oh, can I tell you- Can I share something? You know what? I had saved this for the green room, and then I didn't get it out. But I do want to tell you about one thing. So, I have been getting into, uh, uh, into a new- in, Not new, but new for me, a YouTube rabbit hole of, uh, restoration videos. Do you guys watch restoration videos? I posted about it in the Discord a little bit. But, uh, I, it, I I don't I don't it's it's not an ASMR thing, but I do like the the ones that are very much just like they just show you exactly what's going on and they don't really they don't have voiceover it's all like on screen texts and stuff. Um, Jah Jahandar asks, "We're storing what? It, it's like lighters and old tools." Um, uh, 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 Axes. It's very interesting what they do and do not restore from axes, and um, uh, it's 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 really interesting. Uh, Sam, that's right. Sam mentions that uh, there's a discovery show called The Repair Shop that I need to watch. That I do still need to check that out. Um, but just and and it's the sort of thing where you once you watch enough of it, you know the you know a lot of the a lot of the the tricks of the trade to a certain degree, right? Like there are some channels because they end up restoring a lot of the same stuff. You end up seeing a lot of the same processes, right? You know, uh, uh, de-rusting and then uh, filling in rust damage and sanding and painting and, you know, reassembling. They're always like making new screws and stuff because, because I think a lot of times they're, one thing I saw was that uh, one of the channels had mentioned that they can't get the threaded they couldn't get the threaded screw um where they live because they live in europe and whatever device they had was like a standard uh the standard uh measurement or something so um but it's but it's interesting and then yeah the el condors mentions like there's a ps1 restoration yeah what is that uh odd odd tinkering is i think what it's called they they, they do like uh game consoles i've watched them restore uh, I think I watched them restore one of the little PS ones and, a, and a, a, an original Game Boy and all sorts of stuff. Um, it's fascinating, and it's what's it's interesting how much how much of those different all of those different channels feel very similar, but all have their own. You once you you watch a lot of it, and you start to see all of the subtleties between different channels. You know, some of them do like gags, jokes. Some of them will add sound effects or like wacky stuff. Um, uh, one of them actually had like an integrated ad, it, but it was it was still all the like on-screen text and stuff, while they were still doing, you know, the you know the sandblasting or whatever they were doing. And so, it it's it, it was a very strange thing of like. Like it was kind of like a banner ad almost because it's it's burnt into the video, but it's while good stuff is happening. It's very interesting. I think it's a very very interesting um, genre, and it it it. I think I've seen all of the Gordon Ramsay videos <laughs> on YouTube. I think I've watched all of them. I've certainly seen almost all of them, and now there's not as much stuff that I haven't seen on there for that. But I but I you know I don't know. It's uh, it's it's better. I, I would say it's better that YouTube is feeding me like restoration videos and like cooking videos instead of like <laughs> all of the fucking Nazi shit on YouTube. It's better that it's it's better that it's Zippo lighters and not like a nationalism. So uh, Ben Franklin says I went down a fucking bar rescue rabbit hole and I'm blaming Bryce. Yes. John Taffer, man. John, the crazy thing about Bar Rescue, or at least their YouTube channel, because all, I mean, all the, you know, you can stream this stuff, whatever, but the crazy thing about the Bar Rescue channel, like, they've made so many, they've made hundreds of episodes of Bar Rescue. Tons, 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 tons. And uh, uh, because of that, um, you can really tell that there's only a few that they like, a few like really good episodes that they focus on a lot. 
Um, and over time, like like kind of expand and stuff. Like even the even the uh, one of the Gordon Ramsay cha- the the Hell's Kitchen. No, no, yeah, the the Hell's Kitchen, uh, or no, 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 the night Kitchen Nightmares one, uh, where they just reuse old old clips and stuff. Uh, 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 on on that one, they are like they've got clips from Hell's Kitchen, the reality, the competition show, uh, but they've only been putting out clips like sequentially for the season that they were doing. And so basically, you just end up watching a season of this show, just the good, just the morsels. It's oh, it's interesting. It's it's fascinating. And yeah, but frankly, I I haven't even watched a single episode. He says, I just watched the guy getting angry until he blows up and shuts down the bar. Yeah, man. Like they like if you strip it away from all of the like things that you need to do for a TV show or whatever, and you just have all the good stuff, then it it really changes the experience. Speaking of good stuff. Ooh, is that the good stuff? That's right. I'm being joined with one Corey Cranfield. Hi, Corey. What's happening, man? Not much. We were just uh, just catching up, mentioning that uh, Australia is this weekend. Oh, it is. I'm so excited. Uh, are you going to be watching it live uh, at midnight? No. <laughs> midnight right after Founders Day? You're not going to? Oh, interesting. I mean, I don't want to say no because I might actually be up then. I Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's like, midnight, I can be up. Yeah. Um, I can take a nap in the middle yeah. between those two things. But like, mid- midnight's not the problem. It's... Or, problem but it's just that day will start very early as well yeah that and i'll probably be up for the majority of the next five days so. oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> so i don't know how much energy i'm gonna have after the show yeah uh have you set your your fantasy league for uh for australia no way you gotta wait until after the practices really oh yeah you gotta wait until uh, after the f- the final practice i'm not before that- I'm, I know you can that's not you know that's when the deadline happens is mm-hmm. once mm-hmm. B- right when qualifying starts but I don't know. I want to. I will probably take a look. Yeah. But I don't want to make any decisions because you only have certain. Uh, so many trades. Correct. That are free. Yep. Um, I, I'll say. I was thinking about this on the way out, mm-hmm. which is like, I don't think I changed my team since Bahrain or uh, since Saudi Arabia. And I might not. I don't like. Th- I don't think I, I'm going to change much. Yeah. I would rather. I think I would emotionally rather not make a change mm-hmm. and then see the thing see whatever thing i missed then make a change that ends up i'm i stepped away from something i had already I th- had i think the change i will make if i do make a change is look at uh, which is why i want to watch the practices because i want to see the uh oh the, uh alonzo and Ocon. um oh see how they mean yes compared mm-hmm. to uh gasly and Sonoda, mm. because I may swap those because those are basically even yeah. dollar Sim- amounts, similar dollar amounts. Similar cost, yeah. Similar cost. So I may swap those because they looked really racy in the last race. Yeah. Uh, so I may swap those, but mm. that's basically it. I feel pretty good about everything else. Yeah. I f- I, I'm, I'm, in a, I'm in a similar way, especially because the like the the higher cost players that I've got, mm-hmm. I feel like, or racers that I've got, I feel like I don't want to change, and I've already... There's only so much latitude I get with yeah. the, the lower cost ones. I can tell I don't want to make many changes as my teams begin to merge to be in the same team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I don't, I I don't think they I should, should be separate. Yeah, I think keep, I them keep them separate. Keep them separate. Yeah. Uh, Colin J. Crawford says, I'm planning on watching live. It'll be his first F1 race. Oh, man. Very cool, Colin. That's awesome. That is. We need, we sh- uh, we've got the, uh, the, the sports channel in the Discord where we talk about F1 as well. Um, oh, this Discord. In our disc- the Great Night Discord, the Diamond Club. Discord. In there. Um, but uh, it's uh, I'm yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be interesting. We haven't been to Australia in a while. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, you haven't seen that race live, have you? I haven't. No. Um, it's like part street, or it's like it's like a racing. It's a racing. Street. It's a racing park yeah. that they close down. Right. Something like that. Yeah. Um, so that'll be interesting. I would be. I, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'm excited for it because they've apparently made several changes to it. And so in the past, yeah. it was kind of mixed on how entertaining it was, you know? Mm, mm. Uh, uh, oh, actually, Scoop and Overgirl asked a very good question. Did you see the layout for the Las Vegas yes. uh, F1 track? I was already trying to decide uh, how much of my kid's retirement fund <laughs> I wanted to borrow to get tickets for that. <laughs> it, uh, it doesn't... 
it's going to be so wild. I cannot even begin to describe how much I don't want to be there, but I really badly want to be there. <laughs> I know. Because there will be, there's already going to be a billion people there. Mm-hmm. And then you don't understand. Because like Austin gets people from around the world to some extent. Nothing like what Vegas is going to be. Absolutely. Vegas is going to be a madhouse. It, it, it really will be. And um, uh, the thing the thing that I saw, so the, the, uh, the, the F1 Vegas uh, track is um it looks a little boring it does but it doesn't matter it's gonna look awesome on screen <laughs> well and and also what i didn't realize is okay it's not gonna show me they they put the fucking layout in a fucking video and anyway um uh, what uh, what i saw is that this layout that we've got on, on screen here is going to be the longest uh uh race on the calendar like l- l- the, l- the the actual track will be the longest which i think irons out some of the some of the concerns mm-hmm. of like oh there's not a lot going on here but like in in american fashion like it gets offset by lots of long straights lots of size yeah um but i think it'll be cool the it's got the the turn 10 quote unquote is up the strip of las mm-hmm. vegas um dude it's gonna look so cool when they go by it, with all those lights it will be i wish i just wish they kept the glossy paints oh yeah because all of them have they they've pretty much well i don't know the, one, one of the teams said like we got rid of the gloss because mm-hmm. it shaves off a few grams or something yeah and they're all like overweight this mm-hmm. this season so yeah. far um but it's it is it's a bummer because I like the gloss because it looks great with the glossy paint. I'm surprised not one of them hasn't done just a straight carbon fiber, no paint. Just oh, <laughs> you know. I could, I could see there may s- be rules against that. There could know. be. There very well could be. I I could see something. I could see like Williams do something crazy like that. Something yep. stunty. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Supernova girl says uh, so. Uh, every Friday night traffic. Lol. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh well, one of the interesting things about this Vegas race is it will not be on a Sunday. For the first time yeah. in like 40 years, I want to say uh, the Las Vegas race will take place Saturday night. It's wild. It's very weird. That's in 2023, correct? Yes. Yeah. That, so that's not even this year. It's next year. I still can't imagine getting prepped for that in one year or one and a half. I guess it's. I guess it's. Yeah, a little bit more than one and a. Half. Yeah, because it'll be Thanksgiving right. or it'll be September. November? It'll be November. Be nightmare. Um, I bet it'll be okay. Uh, I've there was a video about um how they do the logistics for Monaco, mm-hmm. um because Monaco is also another street course, and Monaco is special because uh what is it they when when they're not racing the streets are open yeah um which is not exactly how it is on the the other um the other street courses mm-hmm. but like. If they can do it at Monaco, there's enough money to figure it out. Oh, oh there's absolutely enough money. Um, I just want but to it will be weird them in between those buildings because they're going to be loud. It, it will be loud. And uh, gosh, I I don't know. I what what if you had the choice of either say a good grandstand seat or a hotel room with a view of the of the track, which which would you rather do? Hotel room. Yeah. Hotel room for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's probably because you put the just put the race on TV yeah. and um, and then just sit because I, yeah, I guess it's about the same. Yeah, <laughs> you'll, there's, you'll there's still re- hear it too. Why they, they charge all this extra money for those uh, suites? Yeah, <laughs> the Formula One races because <laughs> everybody wants to be inside watching it on TV. Yeah, and then true. they walk outside and go cool, cool, Ooh, cool. We'll go back. In. And then they walk. Back, <laughs> they walk out and get a corn dog, a yeah. long corn dog, uh, too when, much mustard. When we were at Coda uh, 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 for last season, um, we had gotten um a vip badge to the what is it the turn turn 13 or the turn 12 club right at the end of the of the track they have a little vip thing there and uh uh that was like great view you are very close to the track you're close to the end straight you can see down the main straight and there's like 20 tvs in there also showing the feed because yeah you can't see it most of the time so um yeah, I, I, I could see that. Um, it would be very cool. Uh, FW Tree asks, any info on the movie draft? No, we, we, uh, we, nope, no, no news yet. Um, we, uh, no news yet. <laughs> no, we will. No news. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't know that we will be able to get one in time for summer in the way we traditionally do, but we, if movies are still around in the fall, I can imagine we would do a winter one. 
Yeah. So that's that. Um, but uh, uh, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm 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 looking forward to Australia. I think my I think I think Las Vegas will be really interesting. I would like. I would like to be good because I guess you saw the drivers' reactions to it. Did you see all the drivers' reactions to it? Do you think those were real? They, they, it felt very strange that F one. So like F one produced a video where they brought the drivers in and they give them a placard of a photo of Las Vegas. I think it was real, but with caveats. They yeah. obviously know they're being seated. They know what's happening as far as like we're going to ask questions. We need you to yeah. be entertaining. Yeah. You need to have a reaction to this thing that everyone's been talking about yes, forever. forever. Yeah. Uh, there was a good clip. Did you see it from, uh, I don't know, somewhere around 2015, 2018 of, uh, Lewis and Daniel being asked where they would like to see, uh, races get added to the calendar. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. And, uh, Lewis says Miami. Okay. And Daniel says Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, well, here and, we go. And there we go. That's right. Go. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just I'm ready for I'm ready for more racing. I'm yeah. ready to get into it. Yeah. As much as I enjoy a week off, yeah. I'm, I'm ready to get into ready it. To go. Absolutely. Oh. Oh, we got some folks funneling in. All right. Well, I think that'll be our cue. Thank you, Corey. Yep. Hugs and kisses. That'll be a little bit of uh, our critical racing theory. Um. So we're gonna get uh turned turned around to get. Uh, fully settled for the Great Night program. Thank you one more time for joining us here in the Great Night uh, pre-show uh, green room, great room thing. Of course, you can support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash great night. You support us there for $2 a week or $2 an episode. You get a bonus podcast every week, up to five per month. You get access to our special diamond lounge in the diamond in, the, in our Discord, discord.greatnight.tv. You get email updates when stuff comes out. And of course, you get all of that in one easy RSS feed that you don't have to log into. People, If you know something about podcasts and you know something about special private feeds, then you know that logging in is a huge pain in the ass. And with Patreon, you don't have to do that. So that is Babu Loso. Thank you, everybody, for joining us here. It is one more time, April 5th, 2022. Everyone is... Uh, uh, getting getting settled. We got a we got a good crowd here today. We got our wonderful crew. We've got our hosts. I got a special guest. Uh, we've got a, 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 a fabulous announcer here. Hello. Hello. Uh, Hello, friend. Uh, speaking of, uh, are you able to read this, or is this too small for you? No, I am not so blind that I cannot read that, or okay. that I can't. I can you read this? I can read that. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just... <laughs> I just. But I can now. Uh, I can't. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, because I'm, I'm changing yeah, the screen. Okay. Oh. Uh, perfect. 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 All right. Uh, there we go. So, uh, one more time. Last last minute things. Again, we will be having another regular episode of Great Night next Tuesday. So, please make sure you tune in for that. We will not have the Founders Day event next week. That'll come up in a future week. Uh, patreoncom slash night, All the good stuff. All right. Let's uh, let's see if everybody is. Doing well. Brett, are you good? Ooh. Yeah. That's Hello, a, friend. That's a good yes. Brian. I'm the best. He's the best. Justin. Yeah, Ali, you good? Yeah. yeah. Corey. Yeah. Annalisa. Yeah. The chat. And our audience. Woo! Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us here <clears throat> in Great Night. Well, we are going to take it to the show. Brett, are you ready to be counting in? Yes. All right. Here we go. 